meteorologist Peter Hall. Here's your NBC3 forecast. Looking ahead, despite the chilly start, this afternoon should be fabulous. It's really going to be a pleasant afternoon. Now, I know the temperature is still a little bit below normal. Quite honestly, now that we're in mid-September, if you've got sunshine and temperatures almost or maybe even getting, we could very easily get to 70 today. Whether it's 68, 69, or 70, I call that a win, okay? You get deeper into September, not only can it get colder, it could also get wet and rainy or worse. So I'm going to run with this and say, let's enjoy it. I know I'm going to try to at least a little bit this afternoon. You should too. And especially so because as you look ahead, there is some colder weather in the short term, although we also do have some warmer weather not too far away too. So let's talk about what to expect. Today's weather looks like this. It's actually a pleasant picture with a fine finish this afternoon as mentioned. Chilly conditions. I have been pounding the weather wall about this for a week. I've been telling you Thursday into Friday morning will be some of the coldest weather so far this season, and that is still right on course. But we are still holding true to warmer temperatures for the weekend. I think highs both days should make the 70s. Starting you off this morning, we have some fog from about Morrisville down to Norwich, Cortland, Binghamton, Elmira, Susquehanna River region. Elsewhere, it's pretty sunny and cool temperatures, but overall, any fog burns off. I think we have actually a mostly sunny day. And with all that sunshine, upper 60s, maybe 70s in the cards. As we look ahead at tonight, you'll notice some cloud cover up north starts to increase first for Watertown and then towards tomorrow morning starts to edge south. Did you see how fast it happened towards morning? Well, that's the cold front. The cold front by around 8 o'clock in the morning is lined up very close to the Route 31 or 49 corridors. So basically just north of Syracuse. With that front, not only is there some clouds, there may even be a shower or some mist or sprinkles as it comes through. You'll notice there it is going through. Then some sun comes out in the afternoon. The winds become northerly behind it, which means on Thursday temperatures hmm, tough pressed upper 50s, lower 60s. That's certainly pretty chilly. Thursday night behind this cold front, we've been showing you this morning on NBC3 that the air is in the 20s and 30s and with completely clear skies Thursday night. And any wind, if there's any, would be from the east. That's not off the lake, not off of Lake Ontario. So that means no lake effect clouds, no problem getting down widespread 30s everywhere with the possibility of 20s in the coldest countryside. Very cold start Friday morning, but at least we could have nearly 100% sunshine in the forecast on Friday. There it is there. 80% sun today, 25% sunshine on Thursday. Precipitation probability is nothing really today and Friday. Although with that front going through a one in three chance of a shower, there should be some mist and drizzle too. I'm still throwing in a slight chance of a shower on Saturday. Better chances for showers and thunderstorms as we look ahead to Sunday and some leftover showers on Monday. Looking ahead, the normal high is about 72 and 71 through the period. Normal low is about 51, 52. We're not that far away from it today. Little below normal. Thursday, definitely below normal. There's that 37 star for Syracuse frost for many areas outside of Syracuse. So many of the countryside locations are going to have frost. There is a freeze watch that is in effect already for parts of central New York, which you can find on cnycentral.com. 70s likely this weekend. The best chances for showers and storms Sunday. And notice maybe even colder weather by Tuesday into Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. More on cnycentral.com.